You're watching Face to Face with John Ralston. Welcome back to the program. Former Clark County Commissioner Lance Malone and a couple of San Diego councilmen are on trial starting this week in that city, and that trial is going to come here sooner or later, Operation G-Sting. Stan Hunterton is a former federal prosecutor who is joining us with his expert analysis today. Let's talk about the credibility of witnesses. You had to deal with this all the time, too. Mike Gallardi uh, has said a lot of things about a lot of different people. He's a guy who ran a strip club. Which is worse, a guy who runs a strip club or a politician? <laughs> 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 or, or one who does both. Yeah, you know? yeah there you go. I mean, uh, they, that's going to be a constant problem in any of these cases, isn't it? Sure. It's, it's always a problem, and one of the things that the prosecutors have to tell the jury right from the beginning, uh, even before the jury's selected, because it's part of the selection process, is that uh, swans don't uh, swim in the sewer. Um, and you're not going to find... Uh, <clears throat> a lot of uh, school teachers and Boy Scout leaders uh, with access to information about organized crime, drug dealing, or political corruption uh, because uh, the good people of society are swans and they don't swim in the sewer, therefore they don't know anything about the sewer. Uh, typically in any organized crime, large narcotics, or uh, uh, political corruption case, you're going to have a really bad witness like uh, Gallardi or some of the other people that they've used. Uh, you're very upfront with the jury about that as a prosecutor. You try to weed out people who just say, I, I could never believe anything that Mike uh, Gallardi uh, says. Uh, <clears throat> and then the other thing you do uh, as a prosecutor is you tell the jury if we don't corroborate something that witness X, in this case Gallardi, says, I don't want you to believe it. And that's, that's where the art of the prosecution comes in, picking up the pieces of the wiretap and the physical surveillance that will corroborate what he says. Now, obviously in the last year, we've learned that Mr. Gallardi has said a whole lot of things that will never be uh, corroborated, such as his accusation of uh, corruption against uh, Eric Johnson. Uh, the prosecutor. The, right. pro the, the prosecutor here. Uh, and apparently a host of other people uh, that he says he's So, so essentially what you're saying, I'm sorry to interrupt you because we're running out of time, is that they have to do a lot of inoculation right at the beginning, uh, otherwise it's going to come back to haunt them That's later a good on. way to put it. Uh, mm. Let me ask you about these, supposedly these 300 letters that the FBI sent out. You know, uh, a bunch of reporters went out and interviewed a bunch of elected officials, couldn't find uh, any evidence of this. What do you make of all that? I don't know. They're mystery letters. There were, I, I got asked by uh, some reporters and some regular folks when this, when this first came out, you know, who's, who's getting the letters. And, uh, you know, I, I think if 300 of those letters had come out, more than one of the recipients would have called me yeah. and said, I, I got one of these letters, what does it mean, the what, FBI what do I do? wouldn't make that up though, would they? Uh, you know, Anything's possible. Know. Yeah, anything's saying. possible. Well, mm. let's talk about, we have about 30 seconds left, Mr. Hunterton. What does the outcome of this San Diego trial mean for the Las Vegas case? In other words, if Lance Malone is found guilty in San Diego, is he more likely to come back here and make a deal then? You know, each trial is like a one-night on Broadway. You, you open and close in the same night. You don't get to do it over. You don't have rehearsals. Uh, and each jury is an organic, different thing. Uh, the jury that you have here will be a group of different people, obviously, than the jury uh, in San Diego. So in a broader sense, you know, the case will be tried all over again, just like a different Broadway show will open and close in one night. In some narrow senses, it can have uh, a very large effect. For instance, if Mr. Malone is convicted of a felony down there, then it's going to be very hard for him to take the witness stand here because the prosecution can impeach him with his, with his prior conviction. All right. We're out of time. Stan Hunter, it's always a pleasure. Hope you come back during the trial. We'll talk more. Sure. All right.
If you want to contact me, you can email me at Ralston at Vegas.com or you can call me at 650-1976. You can also click on the face-to-face -face link at LasVegasSun.com for the latest schedule updates or you can click on the link at KLASTV.com, catch the program in streaming video on the web. And now you can stay up to the minute with links to the TV program, to my columns in the Las Vegas Sun and In Business Las Vegas, and my email newsletter by clicking on RalstonFlash.com. How does he do it? Tomorrow, all about foster kids in Clark County. That's in the next Face to Face.